everyone. Uh, well, this is the end of our session, one whole day session today about Big Blue Day 2020 by Blue Hope uh, Sabah and also uh, amazing platform edX Pixel that are supporting us uh, all the way today. So with um, awesome, I can say awesome moderator, Bertie, um, Nora, of course, Paul, uh, Mr. Paul Rose that uh, standing by with us. Uh, this session has been, how to say, is so, so valuable for us. And we discuss uh, many strong points and very, uh, very good point, very useful for all of us and um, uh, also for our Blue Hope and people around the world. And we managed to touch about the Blue Hope Sharks uh, with uh, David McGoy. That's the uh, a session that I really love and very, very uh, insightful and a lot of information we, we managed to share during the session. And the second session was about the fish bomb free Saba. And this is one of our big M as well uh, in, in Borneo Saba. The third session was uh, about uh, together we eradicate trash. Everyone know that the plastic pollution in Borneo, not only in Borneo, but uh, around the world is so tremendously seriously need the uh, attention. And we, we managed to discuss uh, during this panel very fruitfully. So we hope uh, next year will be a, a, another amazing 2021 uh, year for all of us to kick, uh, kick off this session. So the next one was, uh, we were celebrating a special session for Scuba Junkie. We're celebrating the awards that, um, um, for me, I feel like, wow, I didn't expect that they, they won that, uh, that huge award. Um, it's pretty good for, um, to showcase and to encourage and inspire all the uh, scuba dive, uh, resort dive shop around uh, Asia as well. So... How to say is so amazing for me. It's so amazing session, and the um, a second last session was about rewild apps. That um, a lot of uh, technical um, terms they use, but uh, this one is a uh, pretty promising. And um, this app's gonna gonna create a um, circular economy and. Um, the point is um, every single plastic will be very valuable, variable in the in future. So this, this uh, topic is really, uh, really, uh, how to say, really intense and uh, important for us as well. And the last session was about the Plastic Ocean, uh, Plastic Detective uh, Education and Awareness Program and our Water Solution by Fonto de Vivo. We're going to roll out this uh, not only in Sabah, in Borneo, but um, finger crossed, hopefully, will be rolled out in uh, Southeast Asia as well. So, yeah, um, thank you so much for all the panelists, uh, speaker as well, that are making your time uh, joining us, Blue Hope, uh, for the big blue day in today, 12th of December 2020. And of course, thank you so much, edX. Thank you, John. Thank you, all the awesome. Uh, I have to say, amazing team of edX behind all this, uh, uh, all uh, to behind this today's success uh, uh, webinar. So thank you so much. I'm I'm so grateful, and uh, I don't know how to how much thank you I should mention, but thank you so much. Thank you, and thanks for everyone around the world. And I would like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. If there is no webinar. Um, coming soon and i want to take this opportunity to wish everyone around the world stay safe stay healthy merry christmas uh, and happy new year thank you over to you simon thank you so much yes thank you thank you mon um i think i think what we've done today is very uh, very meaningful it's the end of the year it's the third and final um digital splash we've done uh it's very special that's very important day for the climate um, about 70 different uh, countries in London now discussing it as we speak. They've just started. And um, so our story here is very important because we're, we are a very precious uh, story from the most biodiverse uh, part of the world. Uh, and the platform is a group of 
uh, most committed believers, ocean lovers, nature lovers. Uh, the the ADEX platform is, is very, very important to us. And uh, we're delighted to be sharing this, uh, hopefully with, um, with uh, Graham Gawley's platform, the uh, dive, dive in the UK and geographical. Um, so this is a truly global discussion that will be shared East meets West. And um, it's a perfect end to the year as we roll into UNESCO Ocean Decade, which is uh, the next decade of listening to ocean, uh, understanding ocean and starting to protect ocean properly. Um, so with that said, we have um, three films to show, uh, which we'll play straight after this. Uh, one is the Plastic Oceans UK series, uh, little short series produced by Plastic Oceans UK, um, our core partner uh, in the UK, Joe Ruxton, um, one of the, one of the, the first uh, first absolute um, active, passionate uh, campaigners uh, talking about plastics, the perils of plastic pollution. And um, so we're delighted to be rolling this out in Malaysia, the first country in the Coral Triangle. We're planning to roll it out in the other countries in the Coral Triangle next year. Um, so this, this series, um, the uh, Malay series is narrated by Maya Karin. Thank you so much, Maya, for your support. Um, this is very close to your heart, I know. We put a lot of time and energy into producing this series. We could have just put it, press play, but we kept doing it back better and better because you wanted to make it the best. So we'll be playing that to three part series. Our ocean, um, plastic, what is plastic and plastic pollution featuring none other than Sir David Attenborough. And it's very important that as many people see this as possible. And that's what we'll be rolling out. So this is the Malay series. I'll be playing first five minutes, five minutes, and then nine minutes. And then we go to uh, virtual reality Cipran, which is a very special film, seven minutes long. Virtual reality is produced by um, Jack Adams, um, who's an absolute guru in um, a film cinematographer um, who, who was here with us for a while in, in uh, Sabah and then now based in Singapore. And he's leading the charge with virtual reality. And this is his take on Cipran. It's the most uh, special film, really, about as close to going diving as you can get without actually getting wet. And so that'll play next. And the final film, uh, close, a film very close to my heart, um, from, from the, the absolute frontier of biodiversity, the last bastion, Timor-Leste, uh, where they have blue whales swimming past their capital city, the gongs right outside the, the international airport. Uh, the, the, the newest, the smallest, and of course, the poorest country in the Coral Triangle, all six countries. And they are really punching above their weight in terms of how they're tackling plastic. And they launched Timor Leste Plastic Neutral uh, last year. And um, Dimitro, um, the uh, Secretary of State for the Environment, Brigadier, um, uh, uh, um, and they are really that. And we're kickstarting a really big museum. So, that said, um, thank you very much, ADEX. Thank you very much, John. Uh, you've got an amazing team. Uh, certainly couldn't have done it without you. Thank you much. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for listening. And I will see you again early next year. Um, have a great Christmas, Happy New Year, and take care. Be safe. Thanks All for right. So before, what? yeah, before we share, thank you so much, uh, Simon. So before we see the movie, before we see the uh, video, uh, let's have uh, John to say something to all of us around the thank world. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, yeah. Monica. Thank you, Simon. Um, I'd like to thanks to, uh, especially a little thanks to uh, the two teams behind this this today event, uh, Blue Hope, Simon, Monica, and the team. And, and Ada's team uh, is my team that is uh, really working hard to put up this event to make things happen in, in the before the uh, end of the year. I'm, I'm uh, very happy to be here uh, that we, we are working together for this blue days that we celebrate the ocean, especially on the, the especially on the, especially this year. This is the, the, the best way to, to celebrate in the ocean in the uh, uh, before the uh, year ends, uh, I think this Blue Hole and ADEX, this event, 
we'll, we'll be um, looking forward more for the next year and this year. Today will be uh, the, the, the last last day for this year to, to presenting this with the, uh, that end with the uh, amazing two, uh, three films that we are going to show. Hopefully every ocean lover will like it. Or if you are, if you are not yet attached to ocean, you will be uh, inspired and that is what we want to do and this is what we want more people to inspire on that. So, and blue is very important for all of us. 60% of air that we breathe is all come from ocean. So if we care about green, we care about the blue. And also the, uh, um, I mean, this week we celebrate the uh, earlier on with the green days, following up with the uh, blue day that is a, uh, come along with the blue hope that they, they want to create this blue day together. I'm very happy to work together, to put it together with the two team. And that was an amazing result to see. I'm looking forward to see the, the, the three planes. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. And yes. yeah, it, it's been amazing. We, all of us uh, are connected to the ocean. We connected to the blue and our body is content a lot of water. So we live in the blue. Like John said, if you're not, if you're not inspired yet, uh, we will do more. And I'm sure a lot of our show, a lot of uh, this, I, I'm sure this video will truly inspire you. And then not to forget before we continue for the video, not to forget if you haven't watched the, the movie called Alive on Our Planet by Sir David Attenborough, please do that. And for myself, you must watch it. You must, must, must watch it. Okay. So, and thank you so much. Uh, we <laughs> forgot. Uh, we not to forget um, our Mr. Charles Hare, uh, British uh, ambassador, and as well as um, the French ambassador that are giving us a very amazing and super, super, super positive uh, message. Although he can't make it here with us uh, today's uh, webinar. So, yeah. With that then, thank you so much, everyone. Once again, thank you, edX. Thank you, all the team. And without edX, we can't make a webinar, a amazing webinar like today. Thank you so much, edX. Thank you, John, and the team. Thank you, and bye. Thank Enjoy you. the thank movie. You. Thank you. Yeah, take care, have a good weekend, be safe. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hello, my name is David Attenborough and I'm a naturalist and a natural history filmmaker. Over the last 65 years, I've been very privileged to travel the world and see every environment from the ocean to the jungle. We're now facing a range of extremely challenging environmental problems. But one of the most pressing issues of our times is plastic pollution. While plastic now affects the entire planet, it's our oceans that bear the full brunt of plastic pollution. What's so tragic about plastic pollution is that it is so totally unnecessary. The plastic in our oceans should never have found its way there in the first place. And yet, a staggering 8 million tonnes of plastic now ends up in our oceans every year, causing untold harm to marine wildlife. Blue Planet 2's crew saw plastic everywhere they filmed. But this catastrophic damage to our oceans is reversible and nature can recover if we give it a chance. While the actions of just one of us, you, may seem to be so very small with really no effect at all, in fact, knowing there are hundreds of thousands of people all doing the same thing is starting to have a truly positive effect. Every single one of us now needs to think, and I mean really think, about how we use plastic. So, I strongly urge you all to treat plastic with care, because if it reaches the environment, it will stay there for a very long time, if not forever, and ultimately affect us all.
every one of us should be extremely proud of their natural heritage and passionate to protect and conserve it and ensure that it remains around for future generations. We all have a responsibility to care for our planet. The future of humanity and indeed all life on Earth now depends on us. Thank you very much and good luck. There are some places in this modern and connected world that still remain distant. In the vastness of the Celebas Sea, Sipadan stands alone, an underwater mountain rising 600 meters from the depths of the surrounding ocean. Corals have conquered this extinct volcano, hundreds of species coating its surface in a kaleidoscope of color. Sharks still reign supreme. Schools of jacks swim lazily in the current. And turtles cruise casually around the reef. My name is Alex Lindblom, and I'm an award-winning underwater photographer. And now, I am back at world-famous Sipadan, one of my favourite locations. I'm on assignment for Dive Photo Guide to capture the reefs surrounding this isolated island. During my trip, I'll be staying here, a decommissioned oil rig turned dive resort, known as Sea Ventures, a fittingly iconic structure from which to dive the iconic Sipadan Island. Setting up and checking my camera has become my morning ritual. Underwater at Sipadan, you have to be ready for anything. Today, I have my Panasonic GH5 in Nauticam housing, rigged up with both strobes and video lights, allowing me to capture photos and film in a single dive. Sipadan has become one of the most protected marine reserves in the world. Dive resorts used to line its coast, but since 2004, the only way to get there is by boat. A short 30 minute trip from Sea Ventures. Only 120 divers are allowed onto the island each day to reduce diver pressure on the coral reefs. And on this beautiful morning, I am fortunate enough to be one of them. At Sipadan, you can take your pick of photographic subjects. They are everywhere. Sharks swim around you. Turtles, unperturbed by my presence, laze around the reef, even taking naps in plain sight, without a care in the world. Schools of giant bumphead parrotfish storm around the shallows in search of their next crunchy coral meal. And when thousands of jackfish surge past, you can't help but realize you're in a special place. Swimming underneath the jacks as they block out the sun, it's possible to get awe-inspiring silhouettes. Each dive at Sipadan is a surprise. As soon as I climb out, all I want to do is swap tanks and plunge back down beneath the waves. Wide angle or macro, there is something for everyone here, and it's because of the island's protection. Reserves like Sipadan are an example of how protection can and should be done, allowing us to come back time and again to enjoy its reefs. 
The life here is staggering and a must for all underwater photographers. I'm Sylvia Earle. I'm an ocean explorer, a scientist, and founder of Mission Blue. I want to salute you for what you are doing in Timor-Leste, for celebrating your ocean, taking care of your ocean, and sharing it with people from all over the world. With hundreds of blue whales swimming past Dili every year, families of sperm whales and many different species of dolphins so close to shore, and dugongs just five minutes away from the international airport, you have the most extraordinary and precious blue world in your hands. Truly incredible. Thank you for what you're doing. Tourism actually serves as a powerful education, causing people to be aware of why they matter, why the ocean matters. Timor-Leste is, of course, also blessed with tremendous oil and gas reserves. And while there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that your whales, dolphins, and dugongs are much more precious, their combined value must be realized and shared across all the different marine stakeholders through proper ecotourism as quickly as possible. So, while you have some really big challenges ahead by working very closely together through ATM-TL with multiple stakeholder collaboration and planning, with your combined strength and unity, Timor Leste's Blue World will surely stand out above the rest and get proper protection that it really needs and deserves. I want to assure you that you have mine and Mission Blue's full support, and I very much hope to experience Timor Leste's amazing blue wonderland myself soon. You truly are reason for hope. Thank you. Thank you.